work hackers in that perspective, I look at it from, and there are actually many different approaches to it. Some of it is the systematic change the organization. I look at it in terms more of that individual. You know, if you want change, you start with the individual itself and their immediate relationships, and you grow from there. The other part of it is people don't think that has an impact. If you change the entire administrative system and things like that, then you fix it for everyone. Well, the thing is that that is very hard to do. We have lots of projects that, that start up with this you know, organizational transformation. Uh, they very rarely have success. Um, and they only have, tend to have limited success. The smaller you can make it, and that's, you know, the smaller you make it, the better the chances. The thing is, like, you know, the smaller and smaller you make it, you eventually make it down to a team. That's the same thing I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just, it is not you know, efficient. So efficient means that you can do it quickly, rapidly in this in this fashion where you don't have to do it over and over again. Uh, they know, you know most, you know, if you're in HR, IT, any of those groups which do the organization transform, they know it takes time to happen. But they don't have a systematic patience to actually do that. It's not in next year's budget. We're just going to do this. It's it's not in, it's like, oh, we already did it for two years. It should be fixed now. Um, because there's that contention for resources. What they want is growth, right? Organizations want growth of the system itself. Um, it's not just in terms of growing just the shareholder's value. It's not just growing in terms of the revenue and the bottom line itself. But what is possible with the organization itself? They want that growth. They want that flexibility. But I think that fundamental lack of patience, that short-term thinking, is killing a lot of companies, or at least stunting them.